Good morning, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Today we're looking at a 2008 Beneteau Oceanus 40, a very clean boat, well-maintained with an open checkbook. Uh, things you'll notice is the uh, all the wood exterior woodwork is finished in varnish and is in great shape. You have full canvas, including a full enclosure. So that's all around, all sides. You can uh, close off the cockpit to extend your, your seasons in the spring and the fall if you want. Uh, very loaded boat with radar, autopilot, uh, nice Raymarine electronics package. Uh, there is a bow thruster. There is a windlass. It has air conditioning. It has a top loading freezer and a front loading refrigerator. So uh, pretty much everything you want. Oh, it also has davits with a dinghy and outboard, hard bottom dinghy that come with the boat. So it is a complete package in really good shape. All right, we'll walk along the outside. You can only see the port side of the boat, but if it's any indication, uh, the boat's in really nice shape. Notice we got a Delta anchor, bow roller up front, white bottom paint, which is cool see how good the uh, tow rails look and their varnish this boat also has a rub rail which was an option at the time so that's nice to have no scratches no indications of uh, any crashes or dings tons of fenders there's actually more fenders on board you can see our West Marine rib dinghy and Mercury six horsepower outboard as well. And our canvas is really nice. It's navy blue and then there's kind of a, like a light gray piping to it. And it's got windows so you can see uh, your sail from the helm. And then here's the Dodge. You can see the glass is a little cloudy. It's just on the outside. On the inside it's smooth, but you can feel a little roughness on the outside. I think it just needs to be, uh, and it's not that soft Isinglass. It's kind of the, you know, the harder glass. And so I think that would buff out with the right uh, stuff. Handrails are varnished as well. In mass furling mainsail, roller furling Genoa, Raymarine radar. This boat also has the upsized 54 horsepower Yanmar engine. I do not know the hours. It has one of those intermittent uh, engine hour displays. So I'm hoping to catch that one of these days, but I do not believe they've ex uh, extensively cruised the boat. It's mostly inshore uh, cruising. So my best guess would be about 50 hours a year. Taking a look at the cockpit, you do have the teak sole in the cockpit, which is a nice option. It gives you uh, the richness of teak and the feel of teak underneath your feet where you'd want it without all the maintenance of teak decks up forward. So. It's a nice touch. We always order our new stock Benetos with the, the teak sole. We have a nice console table in the middle with storage bins here and wings that flip up on both sides for dining on, from either side. I'll show you that. This boat does have backrest cushions. It does not have the, the bottom cushions, but it does have the backrest cushions for a leaning back. At the helm, we have our Raymarine hybrid touch in the middle, and then that pivots to either helm. You pull a little string in the bottom and give it a pivot. And then our engine controls are on the starboard side. So over here we have our autopilot control, and it is an under deck autopilot, a speed depth tri data unit, and our bow thruster control. And the bow thruster does have a separate battery up forward and then on the port side we have a wind instrument and another tri data for speed and depth we have self tailing winches 46 lumars on both sides and then up on the companion way we have one electric winch a lumar 40 on the port side to do main sheet duties in haul out haul 
And this boat has what's called spinnaker gear, which gives you a winch on the starboard side, an extra halyard, some extra blocks and sheets. Um, it does not come with an asymmetrical spinnaker, however. If you wanted one, I can put you in touch with a guy who can make you one. All right, let's take a quick, quick walk forward. Okay, walking along the port side of the decks. They're in really good shape. As is typical for Benetos, no stress cracks, no crazing. Here's our Lumar windlass with our controller. And I see chain and road. Don't know the exact amount, probably uh, 40, 50 feet of chain and 150 feet of road is typical. Quick windlass. And walking back along the starboard side. Notice those handrails looking really good. Another gate here on the starboard side. And as I mentioned, there's a full enclosure, see our snaps. So you can totally enclose this cockpit. Makes for quite a large uh, living space for those spring and fall seasons. And there's snaps in the back as well for the back panels. And here's our davits with our West Marine hard bottom inflatable and our Mercury uh, engine, four stroke engine. And I said it's a six horsepower. I think that's what it is. I'll have to verify that. I just don't remember now and I don't see it indicated on here. Well, check the uh, check the listing for the exact specs of the outboard if it matters. Our throwable horseshoe. All right, let's go down below. First off, notice we got real nice saloon style doors. So you don't have to wrestle with companionway boards and they are varnished looking good. And then we have four steps down. And here we are, nice space. Not sure if the big pillows will come with the boat, but the cushions are in terrific shape. It's uh, like navy blue with little uh, gold dots. This table does drop down and convert to a double berth. And you have a TV on the bulkhead. Our nav station is right here. You kind of sit facing aft. DC electric panel. We have an AC electric panel as well for our, uh, because this boat has an inverter, there's a panel there. And then under here is another panel for air conditioning, which does reverse cycle heat as well. In our galley, we have a two burner propane stove with an oven and it's gimbaled. Front loading fridge that is on and working fine. And a top loading freezer. The optional microwave. Here's one of our air conditioning outlets. A lot of storage. Not sure if the, uh, the dishware and silverware will come with the boat. They are moving into a newer, bigger boat. So they may be taking some of that stuff with it. But things like uh, Fenders and dock lines and boat hooks, uh, you know, safety gear should come with the boat. Walking forward to the forward stateroom. Let me uh, open up the hatch. By the way, we have ocean air shade, so it gives us a shade one way and a screen the other. All the deck opening hatches have that. And we do have custom fitted um, mattress covers in here as well, which I assume will come with the boat because they won't work on their new boat. You got a little vanity area with a, a seat that you can slide around and that's the starboard and then to port we have another locker hanging locker and there are uh, windows in here as well on both sides so you get plenty of light up forward i'm going to close my shade back up the way he had it. And there's another opening shade right there, opening port. Looking aft in the salon, it's a real nice space, very comfortable. And then, you know, we also have windows down here that open up and uh, we've got our own accordion shades. And you can see that there's hatches on the windows that give you cross ventilation. 
Let's take a look at the aft stateroom, which is the bigger bed. And you can walk right in and stand up. And I'm gonna open up a little hatch here for light. There's another uh, opening hatch right here that goes into the cockpit. And there's our fill cushion for the bed to convert the table to a bed in the salon. And that's a nice space. Now here's all our panels for the enclosure, the side panels and the back panels. And uh, they appear to be in good shape. Big locker here. And then the aft stateroom does have direct access to the head with an electric flush toilet and a separate shower. And there's no head odors. It's good, nice and clean. And then there's a door into the salon from the head as well. So it serves as your day hat. It is a two state room, one head boat. And there's storage behind those mirrors. Let's take a look at the little shower area. Yeah, that's your tour. Oh, let's, while we're here, take a quick look at the engine. This has the upgraded 54 horsepower engine. 40 horsepower was standard. And you access that by lifting the hatch, simple as that. And you can see it's very clean. And the boat's been professionally maintained. That's our engine start battery. And you can see our Raycor filter in the back. Another fuel filter here. And it looks really good. Here's our uh, impeller cover for the raw water pump. So that's easy to swap out the impeller if you ever need to. And it is a sound isolated compartment, so it's fairly quiet when you're running. Once again, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. I'd be proud to show you this 2008 Beneteau 40 with air conditioning, upsized engine, full cockpit enclosure, Davits, dinghy and outboard, uh, windless, autopilot, everything works. Everything's in really nice shape. The exterior woodwork is really nice. If, so if you're a varnishy kind of guy, you're going to really like the way this one's been maintained. All right. Uh, hope to hear from you soon. Bye.